Thanks for joining me for MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. I'm Dan Adams. Today we're going to be talking about the inertia friction welding process. The inertia friction welding process is a variation of rotary friction welding. It's a fixed energy process because we store all the energy that we need in a rotating set of flywheels. This energy can be pre-calculated based on the material that you're joining and the geometry of the weld. So we take these flywheels and we accelerate them up to a desired speed. The speed is represented by the weld line. Once we get to that desired speed, we let the flywheels coast. We disengage the motor. This stores all the energy that we need as kinetic energy. At that point, we bring on the forge force, which is represented by the green line. The forge force controls the power input of the weld. We maintain this forge force throughout the entire process. As a result of the forge force and the rotating uh, components, we create heat at the weld line because of the friction. This heat softens the material, gets it to the point where we can extrude the material. That material shortening is called upset, represented by the orange line. So as we convert this kinetic energy into heat, our parts warm up, they start to extrude and shorten. Once all the kinetic energy has been dissipated, the weld is complete. We maintain forge force for a little while longer in order to make sure that we get some cooling of the part, and then the weld is done. As I mentioned, the power input of the inertia weld is controlled by the forge force. So if I want to increase the power input, I can increase my forge force, represented by the green dash line. When I do so, I'm increasing the torque at the weld interface. This will cause my energy to be converted more quickly from the flywheels. There's less time for the heat to dissipate at the weld interface, so my weld upset will increase. Why would I want to do this? If I vary the amount of power input, I can make the same weld either faster or slower and adjust the mechanical properties of the weld. Thank you for joining us for this episode of MTI's Whiteboard Wednesdays. For more information on this topic or other friction welding solutions, visit our website at mtiwelding.com.